<laughs> and I think I, this guy. <laughs> I think we may need to. Kind of sounds like he's not brown as brown. <laughs> All right, let me. Podcast. I'm Deepak from Bangalore, and I got Sean Cummings here with me from Oklahoma. Good morning. I'm Sean. from the village. From the village. <laughs> I think that's How's why I call going, it two buddy? villages. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I, I hope people understand what that means. <laughs> yeah, that you actually live in the city of the village, and I live in the city of the village. <laughs> and and my wife used to live in another city called Prairie Village. How weird is that? Over yeah. the years. Yeah. Just a bunch of villagers <laughs> hanging out. I see. While trying to introduce us to their team of directors or whoever they were, the committee I was talking to, they asked right. me what you do. And I was trying to <laughs> slip in the fact that you've written a book on weed recipes. <laughs> <laughs> just to see how whether they pull back that way i'll know right. how much i can push them <laughs> right what they what they think on that one they're like what they were like really i was like no it's for medical marijuana i had to explain right. it a little bit to them they were like oh right. that's so cool they were like so you guys well, do all of this and i was like yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes we do here's the, here's the thing that i found the easiest to explain to everybody because mm -hmm. i obviously am not the face well i might be right now but usually if i'm if I'm dressed normally and everything, um, I am not the face of what you would think would be somebody that would be doing marijuana, man. Uh -huh. But it is, and I mean this, and I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to sell anybody on it, but you go, it is the cheapest, easiest to make topical pain reliever that I've ever seen. And you can make it in your yeah. own kitchen. And I just made it more fun by putting it in foods and stuff. You know, it's, yeah. it, Tell me, tell me what's worse, drinking booze or, or eating some, some marijuana that's been reconstituted into sugar and then baked into something. According to the mm. country I'm in right now, yeah. drinking is better because that's the only legal thing. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. I think for a small amount of weed, I think you get like 10 months of prison. And if it's like slightly oh. larger, it's 10 years. Holy crud. So yeah. I don't think we were necessarily that far apart 20 years ago. What 20 years changed, ago, yeah. yeah. What changed everything here is stuff called CBD. So you have THC and then you have CBD. Those are two different byproducts of marijuana. But they mm -hmm. found that CBD helped children that had epilepsy and they were having convulsions and they could give them a squirt of this oil made from that mm -hmm. specific plant. And their, their seizures would stop immediately. Oh, wow. And I have to be honest, I thought it was BS when I first saw it, heard it, and everything. Mm -hmm. And my wife ran for lieutenant governor of the state of Oklahoma. And the guy running mm -hmm. for governor was a guy named Joe Dorman. And he was yeah. the pro-CBD guy. And nobody oh, wow. understood what he was. Yeah, he was like the first major politician I've ever known to openly go out and go, we need to legalize this. Not so anybody can get high because you don't get high off of CBD. It only mm -hmm. cures these, uh, these seizures that these little kids were having. And the problem mm -hmm. is it looked really shady. You know, you'd have videos of these kids and a little squirt and all of a sudden they're totally fine. But then if they went on a regimen, they never had them at all. And as a parent, okay. right, think of being a parent. Every time they're having a seizure, you think they're going to die. You know, I mean, God knows mm -hmm. how much time is taken off of your life every time that happens. And that's what opened the door was Joe Dorman doing that and bringing it to a statewide audience. Oh, wow. It was still illegal, right, when he was running? Oh, I remember him. Yeah, Absolutely. And the, the, so the thing is, is most of the marijuana that makes CBD grows by the railroads because they used to use hemp to make a whole bunch of stuff back in the 1940s. And when they would transport it, the seeds from it would drop off the trains. <laughs> and we, right, in Kansas, they used to call it K-weed, like Kansas weed, because it mm -hmm. fell off the trains. But it, no, it didn't get anybody high. It was, it was strictly um, for manufacturing. Oh, wow. I don't know. Joe Dorman well, was the guy. hasn't jumped on that here, but in a more legitimate manner. Because I'm pretty sure like those uh, Ayurvedic places, they might yeah. be using it, but I'm not very aware. Yeah. Whatever they do, they probably have to keep it like hush-hush. for the Right. I mean, there. so if you think about if you and I were doing some forum in Bangalore, mm -hmm. um, yeah. we are not the faces that anybody would put with people, you know, either manufacturing or developing marijuana items. They, they just wouldn't. 
Mm-hmm. And then you go, yeah, but I don't, I don't smoke it or do it or anything, but I have a cracked vertebra in my neck that gives yeah. me migraines. And I can use this marijuana derivative. It's a cream, like a, a hand cream or, um, I don't, do you, do you use coconut oil? Women over there use coconut oil we, for their skin. We use a lot of coconut oil. That's why I like your right. recipe where you use that yeah. in the pain cream right. bases, right? Yeah. Right. So I cook it in that. And, and all I do is just rub a little bit of it on there. But it, here's the thing with coconut oil it has to stay in your refrigerator. There's a yes. way to make it into a solid, like a deodorant stick, but it, mm-hmm. in, at home, you don't need it. You can just make it and put it in your fridge, but I can rub that on there. And I, and I mean this, I'm not trying to sell anybody anything because there's nothing to sell. 